right guys, me and Eric are on our way metal detecting. We've got a dead deer along the highway and up in the tree, got a bald eagle. If you guys can see him or not, been over here feeding, pretty cool. Don't see those every day. All right guys, me and Eric are out today. Beautiful day, beautiful big old farmhouse. We're out on a road trip. I came across here on this side, a little fire ring, about an inch deep, I had an 18 signal. Flipped it up out, and I see something green. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks like I got an Indian. There it is. That's what we got, guys. And it looks like it's an older one, possibly. So you guys can see that or not, let's get it out in the sun here. 18 something 60 maybe 60 something let me get it cleaned up and I'll uh, let you guys know all right guys I cannot get a date on it but I think I see a 68 or a 69 there uh, that's awesome beautiful Indian head penny a little smashed a little damaged but we'll take it good first hole all right guys I got a wheat penny right out here Came up through here, had a decent little sickle. Nothing special, but probably gold plated at one time. Always seem to be finding these bad boys. On to the next. Alright, guys, and the signal after the copper ring right here by this stump. Pop this up from deep down in. Let me give it a little rub together here. Oh, buddy. Lucky there. Wow. Another largey. I cannot believe it. Unbelievable guys another braided hair Can't believe it This is like my third large scent this week. This house was built in 1904 according to the landowner So I uh, can't believe this is here Let me see if I can clean this up and get a date for you guys. I'll be right back All right guys, it's hold right at the date, but I can clearly see it's a 1847 So awesome Woohoo happy with that Day made. All right, guys. Me and Eric's moved over to the side of the house here. Beautiful old house. Finds are far between, but got a little. I think it's a little lock plate from a door. Yeah, or something. Fashion plate, lock plate. Something there. It's old. Fancy little thing. But we'll keep going. All right, guys. Me and Eric's moved on to this beautiful old house built in the late 1800s. Big old yard here. Uh, Eric has a cool little find. He's calling me over. I dug a couple of memorials. Look at there, a little train. Definitely different. Oh, that's nice. I haven't seen one of those before. Flip that bad boy over for me. Yeah, huh. Pretty nifty. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Hope for some silver here somewhere. It's gotta be. All right, guys, Eric's doing big things out here. He's right on the sidewalk. Had a solid 19 signal. And looky, looky, he's got himself an Indian. 1881, I believe. Yep, that's what that's you said. What it was. Very nice. Thank you, sir. It's a pretty green one. A lot of detail. There's got to be silver here somewhere. All right, guys. I'm working up the side of the house here. I really need to buckle down and find you silver. But here's my next target. Nice little brass buckle. Probably gold plated at one time. On to the next. All right, guys. There's Eric over there. I've been working my way on this side yard. Came from all the way down by the road, no signals. Got up here by this bush, right here next to it. I had a 25 signal, pop the plug. See something sticking out of the sidewall right there, guys. What do you think that could be? I don't know if you're focused or not. Looks interesting. Looks very interesting, guys. Looks like we got a little mercury here. Let me give it a little spray, see what you guys think. Yes, sir, 1941. She's a beauty. A little spray on that back here and get that cleaned up. All right, sorry guys, my uh, phone filled up with storage there, but back at it. 
That's probably good for a 41. Very nice. What date is it? First silver, 1941. 41. Sweet. So, finally a little shiny to go in the pocket. Beginning to wonder. <laughs> yep. I've had an excellent day. I'm happy now. You can head home. You can go to the truck now. Yep. Eric's trying to send me to the truck, guys. Beautiful Mercury dime. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, me and Eric are at a new permission. And my first hole, pop this bad boy up. Looks like some sort of medallion or something, but I'll get her cleaned up and get a close up for you guys. Beauty. All right, guys, I don't see anything on it. Definitely a medallion of some sort, but uh, yes, I don't see any writing. Yeah, you can see where it would attach right there, so. On to the next. Alright guys, there's Eric down there. I'm making my first pass through the yard here. Dug the medallion. Now I have a 26 signal right here. In the plug. See something shiny. Is that much? Over there. Oh, so I thought that was my truck. <laughs> like we got a little silver silvy. A little mercury dime. There's targets here. 1820 guys. Nice. Congrats. Thank you. We got a mint mark on there. No mint. 1920 Philadelphia. Second silver on the day. Beauty. Let's keep going before dark here. I imagine we'll stay here until dark. Beautiful yard. Beautiful old house built in mid-1800s. Brick unit. All right, guys, working my way down through here toward this tree. Had a deep 19 signal. Pop me up a coin. Looks a little green, guys. Please be an Indian. I think I see one cent there, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Beauty. What do we got? We got something green. Something green and something pretty. Indian. Oh, Indian head, guys. I'll be right back. Let me get the date for you. All right, guys. Got it cleaned up the best I can. 1896 Indian head penny. Lovely. Yeah, and there's Eric's penny. beautiful, beautiful V nickel, 1900 even, and 19, I think 19. Yeah, buffalo. Indian buffalo. Beautiful man. It's awesome. Gold. Oh yeah, he found this gold basketball or baseball or something. Might be gold. We'll check it out. But anyway, we're having a good time here and we're gonna keep going hopefully till dark. No way. Alright guys, I'm calling Eric over here. I just popped up a high tone, probably about a 30 down in here, about seven oh, inches. Man. And I have a silver staring at me in the face. Want me to record you? Here. One dime. One dime, guys. Playing the one dime game. Looks like I gave it a kiss right there. Down oh. in there in some roots. No mint mark. Slip her over. Oh boy, guys, we have seeded. Uh, wow, my second <laughs> seeded. Hey, I just got my second dry day. Now you got yours. Amazing. Let's come on, water. Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> squirt me. <laughs> nice, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, guys. Amazing. I've been after that for a while. <laughs> I have been hunting seeded for a long time. We can get a date on that bad boy. 1878, I believe, guys. Congratulations. There she is. Now, I am pumped. What a day. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> seated, baby. Love it, love it. Only my second seated ever, and I'm pumped about it. Beauty. 1878. Thanks for watching, guys. Ring up. That's a bucket lister. <laughs> Alright, Eric's over here. He's happy as can be. He's got himself a bucket lister. Oh. Well, that ring up on the Knox. Oh. 15, 20. 17, 18. No, dude, 15. 15, yep. Oh See? my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're shaking. <laughs> I don't shake much. Oh yeah, that is a fine eagle. 1857. <laughs>
<laughs> Second year, well, really first year. Only made a few of the 56. I just about didn't dig. Wasn't very deep. Just about wow. didn't dig it. <laughs> wow. That one's in really nice shape, too. Beautiful, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
got me a nice little aluminum token. If you guys can read that or not, from James Kirk and Company, Chicago. It looks like we're going to get a free cake of cocoa. Hard water Castile. When we buy some Kirk's Flake Soap. So that's pretty neat. Haven't found one of those before, so happy with that. On to the next one, guys. All right, guys, we are ready to go. It is hot. Anyway, pop something up here. Didn't sound great. Squirrel cup. As you can see, it is that. It looks like a button on the back. Got a little shank in oh, there, yeah. bent over. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is, if you guys know. Hit me up in the comments. Not going to yeah, pretty unique little find. Never found anything like that yet. Yeah, nothing's on it, so. We're gonna get us something to drink and get on to the next. All right, guys, you might recognize this place. We're back two days later. That's where I got my seated dime and Eric got his flying eagle. We're working out here near the road on the bank and I had a 12 signal, popped it up. You guys can see that or not. I believe it is a Civil War cuff button. And Eric got himself a nice tom back. Oh no, it's just nice. a flat button. Flat button. Yeah, nice flat button. Beauty, that's a real nice one. Got some age on it. Thank so you, we're you. on the old stuff here. Just hope some more pops out for us. And we'll see you guys on the next find. All right, guys, I'm going to try to attempt a live dig here. Nice deep 28 signal here at this old place. Peeping up pretty high. So let's see what we can come up with here. Could just be clad, but we found some pretty nice uh, mid 1800s coins here. So I'm hoping for a silver or something. But dirt's not looking too great. We'll see what happens. I think it's still in the hole here, guys. Down in here. See what we can come up with. Doubt. And it is a screw. Wow. Can't believe that ring up so high. But it sure did. Awesome. Nice find. Great life dig. See you on the next. Eric's coming over guys, he's seen me throw out the water. Anyways, right here, had a decent high tone, 22. Pop this up, looks like I got a little kind of stoga. I'm gonna spray it and see what happens. I think it should clean up pretty nice. Yeah, boy. Little bell. Come back. It may not clean up. I'd be careful with it. It's copper. That's Tom back. Yeah, she's gonna clean up real nice, guys. Ding a ling, I got rang up today. It, that's your first one of them. Happy days. No, this is my second one ever. Second. The other one I got's a little bit bigger, but all right, we'll take that. Happy days. On to the next. All right, guys, I got her cleaned up a little bit. I'll spray it off. She's in mint condition. Beautiful. I'll probably even be able to put another little dinger in there. I don't know if that could be a little school bell or what. This used to be the old school back in the 1800s, so seems a little small, but. Beautiful bell nonetheless. We will take that. Love it. All right, guys. I'm way down here by the road now. Anyway, I had a deep high tone. Dirt's not looking too good, like field dirt, but pop this up about 10 inches down in there. Nice little flat button. I gave it a rub on the front. No details, but some history saved right there. Some old history. 1800s flat button here at this old school. So happy with that, on to the next. All right guys, we moved around to the side yard here, kind of behind the house. I walked all the way around that big tree and not a single target. Came right over here, had a decent high tone, popped it up, and I got a triangle token. Good for two and a half cents in trade. On this side, this side, a little crusty. Try to clean it up when I get to the house, but not gonna clean it up here. First one I found like that. It's pretty cool. Eric's got him a really good target right here, guys. But I just popped this little pin up. Cut some fancy on it. Little pin back. Not sure of the age, but probably mid 1900s. I'm happy with that one. Let's see what Eric's got here. I got a jump. A little live dig action. Cursor live dig. Yeah, uh, it's pretty deep. We'll come back whenever we figure out if it's something good or not. 
All right, guys, I'm out here in the front again. Had a little high turn, shallow. Pop the plug up. I see something right oh. there sticking out. So let's expose it together here, guys. We got another seated. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It looks like a mercury dawn. Oh, guys. I've seen seated. Yeah, I think it's a mercury dawn. Give it a little squirt there. Yep. No mint. 1939, guys. Pretty little mercury dime. We'll, we'll take sure. that for silver for today. Well, on to the next one. Not a very good one. All right, guys, heading toward the truck here. I'm a few feet away. Pop me up. Nice 12 signal. Got a little toe tap. Broken. But uh, 1800s for sure. So uh, we're heading to an old church now. We'll see what we can find. We'll see you guys there. All right, folks, I came down along the edge of the church here. As you can see, I'm parked right there. Got a weedy up there, some garbage here and there. Had a deep 30 signal right down in this hole. Flipped it up out, and it was a green coin. I'm sure you guys can see it. Number five on the day. Little Indian. This church was built in 1876. So you never know what might be lurking around here. That is a beauty. Beautiful green Indian head penny. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, still going at the church here. Came around the bush, had a decent high tone. Popped her way up down in the hole there. Eric's coming over. What he doesn't know is I found a key to the church. He thinks it's silver. As you can see, got a big silver rim shining back at me. Here's Eric. He's coming over to check it out. What do you think would be an amazing find here, buddy? The rain. What is that? I imagine the best find you could have would be a big silver. It ain't rooted though, is it? What is it? <gasps> oh no! It's the key to the church, guys. <laughs> the best find you could have. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys, we moved on to a new permission built in the 30s. Popped up a bunch of clad, one weedy, and boom. Out of nowhere, skeleton key. So pretty happy with that. That's a pretty one. Tip's broken off a little bit, but a little bent up. She's a beauty. We'll take that and keep on going.